Hey guys, hope your day's going well. So we know Nvidia invested in several different companies like SoundHound, which is up another 1% today on top of the big gains we saw yesterday. Also Recursion Pharmaceutical is up another 6%. It was up about 13% or so yesterday. That one we already knew from a while back. I put a video on you know, Recursion Pharmaceutical that Nvidia invested in them, but obviously some investors that didn't see that originally are buying it up now, okay? And they're in biotech and with any Nvidia, you know, behind them and with AI, you know, that's why people like it. And then also Arm Holdings, this one already shot up huge, okay? But that was one we knew about already, but this stock is down 6% today and it's been coming down from its recent highs. It's at about 125 bucks this year, last time I checked. So that's what I was saying, wait for a dip with these before you enter, you know, you, you could have accidentally bought in $150, $160 a share at the top, right? Or wherever it went up to, but now it's a much better risk reward if you're gonna go long. Me personally, I probably, if I did buy this stock, it would be a small position because of their exposure to China, okay? But I know they're in Apple phones, right? They're in smartphones, they're in everything. So I understand that could be a good hold with semiconductors obviously flying off the handle now with everything AI going up. So probably worth it to have a small position, right? And then we have Nano X, guys. This one went up another 44% today. This was the big winner. Yesterday, it went up a little bit but today skyrocketed, okay? So I'm not recommending chasing this. Of course, it's always finding a pullback, right? Before you get in any of these, okay? But then there's another company that I didn't catch the first time around that they invested in as well. It's called Too Simple, T-U, and then the word simple. This is ticker symbol T-S-P-H. It's now an OTC stock. It actually went, went into business in 2015. They had their IPO in 2021 and they were on the NASDAQ, but then it got delisted from the NASDAQ and they actually are moving their headquarters or operations from the US to China, which is interesting. And so that's why it's an OTC stock now. It's been severely beaten up, but it's up 20% today, okay? And so this may be worth taking a shot or putting it in the long-term portfolio with any of these, right? Because it seems what Nvidia touches turns to gold, right? So it's, it's smart to watch what NVIDIA does and what they invest in. So this company, forgot to mention Too Simple, they are in autonomous trucking in the freight industry and they already have logged thousands of miles on the road, which I didn't know. So that's very interesting and I think I'm gonna take a small position, but it's OTC, remember, which means you have to do a limit order during market hours and you get charged about a $6 fee. So just keep that in mind, no big deal if you're going along on it. But like I said, not a bad idea to try it, have a small position in each of these you know, when there's a dip, obviously, if you can catch one and then hold them long. Because remember, even if four of these go out of business, but one goes up 10, 20 X, right? It makes your portfolio.